You swallowed one came to swallow me. You are holding it in your mouth. We lift your name higher. You are God. You are great. Our topic today is Oh Lord, show me mercy. Oh Lord, show my family mercy. Oh Lord, show me mercy in my pursuits, in my career, in my family, in my pregnancy. Show me mercy. In my waiting upon you, Lord, show me mercy. In the life of my children, oh Lord, show me mercy. In the life of my spouse, oh Lord, show me mercy. In this season, oh Lord, show me mercy. In my going out, in my coming in, oh Lord, show me mercy. mercy. In all I do, oh Lord, show me mercy. Even when I go to bed, I sleep. Let your mercy still remember me. Hallelujah. Amen. That is our topic today. Oh Lord. Show me mercy. Mercy of God is deliverance. Somebody say after me, say, the mercy of God is deliverance. The mercy of God is deliverance. Mercy of God is restoration. Say after me. Mercy of God is restoration. Mercy of God is prayer answered. Say after me. Mercy of God is prayer answered. Mercy of God is promotion. Say after me. Mercy of God is promotion. Mercy of God is healing. Say after me. Mercy of God is healing. Mercy of God is blessings. Say after me. Mercy of God is blessings. People of God, mercy of God is everything that you need now and that you will ever need. Mercy of God is testimony. Mercy of God is divine settlement. Somebody say divine settlement. Divine settlement. Mercy of God is divine favor. Where there is mercy of God, there cannot be defeat. A family that is enjoying the fullness of his mercy cannot see defeat. When mercy of God speaks, defeat will be silent. When mercy of God's peace, poverty will disappear. When mercy of God's peace, sickness will disappear. When mercy of God's peace, setback will disappear. When mercy of God's peace, victory is your portion. Rise up and say, mercy of God, speak for my victory. Mercy of God, speak for my victory. Say it again. Say, mercy of God, speak for my testimony. Mercy of God, speak for my testimony. Say, mercy of God, speak for my success. Mercy of God, speak for my success. Say, mercy of God, speak for my deliverance today. Mercy of God, speak for my deliverance today. Say, mercy of God, speak for my restoration. Mercy of God, speak for my restoration. Say, mercy of God, speak for my total freedom. Mercy of God, speak for my total freedom. Say, mercy of God, speak for my fruitfulness. Mercy of God, speak for my fruitfulness. Say, mercy of God, speak for my settlement. Mercy of God, speak for my settlement. You may have your seat. Amen. Everything we need now is the mercy of God. The solution now is mercy. The solution now is His divine mercy. You have tried your best. Mercy of God is all that we need. Mercy of God is the only hope at this time. With the condition of the world now, with the strange happenings in the universe, the only way out is the mercy of God. And somebody, today, his divine mercy will speak in your life. Yeah. Yeah. Mercy of God is a champion. Mercy of God is a winner. Sometimes, some prayers is players. Without the mercy of God. Answers are received. Answers are released. Answers are given. Why? Because of the mercy of God. Mercy has settled the case for us. 
Mercy has done it all for you. That is why it is written. He said, therefore, let no man judge you either by meat or by drink. And he said, you'll be on your body the mark of Jesus. You'll be on your body the mark of mercy. Mercy is the champion. Mercy says, it is finished. Mercy says, says it is done. Mercy says, lose him and let him go. Mercy says, the time to favor Zion has come. Mercy is a promoter. Today, you will enjoy the divine mercy of God. Amen. When the mercy of God speaks, or is speaking the life of a man, even the world will know. Everyone that have eyes to see, will see. They that don't want to believe, will believe. Because mercy is spiritual, but the manifestation is physical. When mercy of God speaks in a place, in a family, or is speaking in a family, where is that mountain before Zerubbabel going to come from? Mercy of God is a trinity in one. Mercy of God is fire. Mercy of God is power. Mercy of God is grace. Mercy of God is super. I have never read anywhere in the scripture or heard, even in the time past, that mercy went to war and was defeated. I've never come across anything like that. Mercy of God, divine mercy of God, went to war and was defeated. I want to let you know that every problem in your life now has been conquered by his divine mercy. And today, you shall begin to enjoy the victory in Christ. Amen. Whatever you call problem is nothing before this divine mercy. It's nothing. There is no mountain too high that God cannot bring down. And hear me. The problems are there because mercy is absent. Mercy is absent in your life. Exodus 23 verse 20. If you read it down. He said, Behold, I send my angels to go before thee to bring you to the place I have prepared for you. But he said, Provoke him not. For he has no power to pardon your sins. So, first one say, Your transgression. For my name is in him. Obey him. My point is this some people are existing. But I tell you, you're only existing because of that first love of God. So no matter what you do, no matter your disobedience, no matter your stubbornness, no matter how we treat God, we are breathing, we are alive, we are feeding through the mouth and not through the nose because of the first love. And God swore, he said, I will never destroy this world again. But some things will be missing in your life. Because mercy of God cannot be. Sometimes we say it's by, because of not mercy. Not, some people don't get that mercy. Mercy of God cannot be in a place. Cannot be in a place. Cannot be in a business. In somebody's business. And that business will go down. You know what is mercy? Mercy is trinity in one. God spoke to me some time ago. He said, daughter, where my spirit is there I dwell where the spirit of God is God dwells there so some people they are only left because of the first love of God they are only left with their guardian angel just to be guiding them but nothing more they can't get more than that even if they carry themselves and want to enter fire the guardian angel goes still they try some people say don't use their character cage their guardian angel Yet, the Agadian angel is still trying his best. He's still trying. So at that point, Jesus cannot move as he's supposed to move. After all, he don't force himself to come into anybody's life. He only gives invitation. And that's why he says in Revelation, I stand at the door of your heart, I knock. You open, I come in. I eat with you. I say to you. So mercy of God cannot be in your life. And the enemy will be there. Light and darkness has nothing in common. Light and darkness cannot live in the same room. Mercy of God cannot be your father's house. Dwelling there. Somebody say dwelling there. Dwelling there. It cannot be dwelling there. 
and that evil altar will still be there. And people will still be borrowing, people will still be struggling, people will still be dying untimely. Today, that mercy of God will speak in your father's house. I said today to speak in your father's house. Mercy of God is a champion. It's more than conqueror. It does not fail. And it cannot fade. What you need now is this mess. There are doors you have been knocking on. You are knocking on that door. Door open. Door open. Like God showed me. Some time ago, he showed me somebody. The gate is locked. You are pushing this gate. And you have been standing beside this gate. Pushing, forcing. You don't hit them all. You don't carat them all. You don't anyhow. There's nothing you have not done to make sure that that door open. You don't agree. Now, mercy if you open the door. Now, the by mercy of God. I you open your Bible, Deuteronomy, chapter 7. Chapter 7, verse 7. Deuteronomy, chapter 7, verse 7. The Lord did not set his love upon you, nor chose you, because you were more in number than any people. For ye were the fewest of all people. Put, continue. But because the Lord loved you, <laughs> and because you would keep the oath, that oath is a sacrifice of Jesus on the cross over 2,000 years ago, which is the message we are talking about today. Which he has won unto your fathers. Had the Lord brought you out with a mighty hand and redeemed you out of the house of bond men from the hand of Pharaoh, king of Egypt. Egypt. So it's not because now you can you know it all or because you love God more than others. No. God just chose you and he like you. He just decided to be merciful unto you. And today, he will still, re, re, he will still reveal himself mightily in the area of his mercy in your family. Rise to your feet. You swallowed one came to swallow me. You are holding it in your mouth. We lift your name higher. You 